What's up? What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Earl Shatter bringing you guys another best class set of video here on Call of Duty World War II. Today's video, we're going to be discussing the M2 carbine, something a little bit different. We were running high caliber, advanced rifling, and extended mags. We are also using Expeditionary Division, running Blitzkrieg. You guys know we get those kill streaks instead of score streaks, making them more powerful. And obviously, Expeditionary to replenish ammo and have the double S mines because S mines are greater than random teammates as we've been through many a times here on the channel. So the M2 carbine is a DLC weapon that I actually don't mind too much. It does use a lot of uh, ammo, for, especially for having a very small clip. But overall, I find having that extended mag does increase that just a little bit. You can actually clean up probably three people with just enough just enough love behind it. I don't even have rapid fire on this weapon. But as you guys can see, the fire rate is pretty quick. Kind of reminds me of the M1A1 carbine, obviously being the M2 carbine, that makes a lot of sense. But not having to hit that trigger each and every shot does help a lot. I kind of feel like it is better than the M1A1 carbine, but obviously being a semi, not being a semi-auto, a little bit easier to work with. You can work on holding your recoil work on you know really being on target that helped a lot one thing i could say about this weapon does absolutely melt you'll get a, quite a few headshots as the recoil sends this weapon just perfectly up enough in the air to essentially aim right at their head you guys will find you don't need really a grip or quick draw on this weapon at least personally i don't feel like i do and it will essentially still do just exactly what you need it to do and that recoil will be just enough to just demolish heads if you aim at that body. In this match here, I actually am playing against somebody I do have blocked. What a surprise. But overall, it was a very, very solid lobby. I think I've even V2 rocketed the said person I have blocked many a times as well. And we're able to really hold down this map pretty well with his gun. Dude tries to sneak around behind me, pull out those paratroopers. We're going to give him something to work with now. As we're down that three points we need. Your boy Earl is on a ruthless. Like I said, I really do enjoy this weapon. Got good long range, medium range. You can even get people up close. That fire rate really helps you feel like you're melting the enemies quickly. But it also makes you feel like you go through your ammo pretty quickly as well. You're probably using bullets or not hitting bullets. And every single time you miss, you're wasting ammo essentially. So there's a good chance you're, you know, meaning to get two, three, four bullets on target and you're wasting seven, eight, nine, ten, depending on what the situation might be. So there's that to kind of compensate for, which is why I always make sure I have that expeditionary division so that I can constantly continue to replenish that ammo, never having to worry about a lost moment, searching for a random weapon on the ground, or being in a bad pinch with no ammo and being on a high streak. Just having everything to lose and nothing to gain, having no no way of defending yourself. Don't want to catch myself in those positions. Look at that guy. He actually just walked right past me. Didn't even notice I was there. And here we are, giving him peace of my mind. Look at that thing go. You just fire away and headshot it is. Didn't even really get to see that guy because his head just boom exploded before we even had the opportunity to really catch a good look at him. And we're gonna look for him again. Get him. He's literally trying to head headshot us off that uh, little weird head glitch type of angle he has. Man, my team and I are really holding it down. Guys, at this point, if you are enjoying the video, make sure you guys do smash the like button. We have a goal of 50 likes on today's video. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new and enjoying the content. Smash that notification bell so you guys actually know when the content does go up on the channel. And I appreciate you guys. As you guys can see here, Master Procedure, the dude who is a pain in my butt, sneaks around, tries to shoot us in the back from our own spawn. I'm able to catch up and on to his situation, his idea, his thought process, and I'm able to take him right out. We are currently on another Merciless. I think we've been on a few this game, at least one other one. There are those paratroopers yet again. We're looking at 50 seconds away from going into that overtime. Game is tied. So as long as no one scores, that's where we're going to be headed. And you guys can see, it's gun puts in work. 
we're, we're not sitting back super far the whole game. We're, you know, we're able to push up. We're able to maintain some of the lanes. These guys are not doing much to get out of their actual spawn, so it makes it kind of easy to pull out this ball turret gunner and uh, set ourselves up really nicely for this overtime. Unfortunately, overtime all relies on how fast your teammates will score. So even though I am on a decent streak, it's all in the hands of my actual teammates, whether or not I will have the time to make anything crazy further happen. Overall, I'd give this weapon a pretty decent rating. Wouldn't be my top choice. I don't know if I would always have a class setup on the side setup for this weapon, but it is good to pull out from time to time. Get that extra little bit of uh, variety in your gameplays, in your just gun skill overall. And I highly suggest you guys go out there, grab this gun, run this setup, see what kind of magic you guys can make happen as well. Don't forget to let me know down in the comments section either what your experiences with this weapon have been or after you guys go out there and use this class setup, what your experiences are. As you guys saw, I was doing pretty good as far as my streak goes, but I had to go ahead and pull out the ball turret gunner. As we were running short on time, as my teammates, I'd already scored once in overtime within, I believe, around 30 seconds, making the game end. But at least we ran away with the victory. I can't complain about it. We were on a, probably a 17 or 18 actual gun streak, so we weren't too far off the V2 rocket. We did get a lot of our streaks. Actually, we got all of our streaks. I think we got paratroopers even more than once, which was a huge benefit to actually how we were able to pull off this victory. We did, we did end up going 50-3, and three, which is exceptional. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. We do have a 50 like goal on today's video. Smash that sub button if you guys are enjoying the content. And most importantly, hit that notification bell so you guys know when this content goes live on the channel. Appreciate you guys very much. and I look forward to seeing you guys all in the next video. Peace.